What's up, everybody? How you doing? Um, not too sure if you got a long weekend this weekend or whatever, but I do, so I'm doing a couple little carvings. So this is the town I live in, Ladner. It's in British Columbia, Canada. It's a little fishing and farming town. Well, it was. It's slowly getting bigger, but it's a little community, and um, I've lived here since I've been about five years old. So it's a little town. I basically know everybody in the town. Been there, kind of done that. Kind of, I don't know everybody, but you know what I mean. All the people that grew up here, I basically know. Or they know me, or of me. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be carving this. I'm going to be engraving this uh, ladder. I'm going to be using this roto zip bit. It's a 1 8 I'm going to be using a Dremel Flex Shaft 4300. Don't think you have to have the 4300 Dremel Flex Shaft, people. Um, even a, like a 300, even at my carving station, I use a Dremel 300. It's not a variable speed, but it's a, it's a good Dremel. You don't have to have the big ones. And I'm going to be using the cuts all, cuts all bits too. This is a 1 8 cuts all. Extreme Flame Burr. This one's kind of losing life. I've had it for a while. But, um, yeah, if you want to, if you want to find out how to get these cuts all, uh bits look in the comments below i got a link to the cuts all website and um if you put in the, the, the code c fusion you'll save five percent so i think this is a pretty good bit for the uh, beginning carvers it takes away wood pretty fast and they got a great lifespan to them cuts all extreme flame burrs okay so look what we're going to be carving today yeah a double headed axe. <laughs> I've already cleaned this up with my uh, grinder. You know, I'm still, I'm still, I still got to sand this some more. You can still see some grinding marks in there. I used uh, a sanding pad. I think I used up to 150 grit. But don't try and make it, the metal look brand new, guys. It's an old axe. You know what I mean? So this axe is basically going to be a wall hanger. You know what I mean? Buddy from Ladner, he's a younger he's younger than me. You know, when I used to drink and party crazy scrap and do all that that crazy shit, and I was a kind of I was kind of a dick. But um I don't know this the younger kid that was he was hard working kid, real nice guy. I've never had a problem with him at all. So the other day when I was out in my carport uh working on one of my chainsaws or or thinking about what I was gonna carve for the day. He dropped off three of these axes. Not one of them, but three of them. I guess his grandma passed away and they're cleaning out the house. And the, like this is his uh, grandpa's old axe or something like that. So when he dropped off the axe, I gave him one of the axes. I said, well, his name's Blake. Cody, this shot, this, uh, not Cody. No, it's even Blake. What am I talking about? That's my injury, guys. Anyways, this sh shadow's for you. Um, anyways, he dropped off three of these axes, and I, I gave him one of my smaller carved axes. I said, well, here, take this to uh, for the axes. I just want to show you appreciation to show you that you're my friend and stuff like that. But I thought about it, and I said, do you know what, man? I said, I'm going to give you a decision. Either, how about I carve you one of the axes that was your grandpa's so you can keep it for memory's sake that your grandpa used to swing this axe or you can have the one that I already gave you he gave me the one back and he says he goes man it would be cool to have one of my grandpa's axes you know it's, it's going to be a wall hanger guys because I'm going to be carving a face in here you know I got it penciled in so once you carve into this wood you're basically degrading the axe you probably could swing it because I'm not going to carve that deep but he said he's not going to swing it. It's going to be a wall hanger. So now I'm not afraid to carve too deep into this piece, right? Okay, so let me get set up here and stop talking. And uh, carve Buddy his uh, axe for his uh, memory of his grandparents. I think it's pretty cool. And I know I carve lots of wood spirits and the videos are getting all the wood spirits. But I'm just trying to show you you can carve on anything you want that's wood or whatever. If you got an old hammer that was your grandpa's, carve it. Carve the handle or an old saw or something that's got like a, a wood handle. 
I've already cleaned up this wood with the uh, with my sander too when I was at it. I think this is hickory maybe. Yeah, but anyways, I'm I'm gonna car do the carving. I'm gonna burn just a little bit, do some highlights, and then I'm gonna burn the whole thing, and then I'm gonna lacquer it with clear lacquer. Hey, okay. so I ended Maybe up uh, speeding up this video because um, it turned out to be like 25 minutes long, me doing the carving, because I did the lettering too. So whatever, I'll try and find some music to put on here, and it's only a few minutes of me carving. But when you're doing uh, smaller stuff like this, guys, take your time, you know what I mean? Because it's really about the detail compared to the bigger things. And um, I said I was gonna put a clear coat on it, but I, I did that dark min wax poly stain on the finished product. You'll be able to see when I'm done. But you see there, I'm cutting the forehead deep in there. The deeper that you cut that forehead in, absolutely the cooler it's gonna look in my opinion. This guy's gonna get some hair too. But think fluent guys, like uh, a well-known artist around town, around uh, like Vancouver and stuff, always, I asked him when I first started painting, I said, what's a good, I asked him for a good tip. He thinks, says, always think of S lines. Like draw your S's in like sharp round shapes, long skinny shapes, just barely like a narrow shape, S shape. You know what I mean? Like big round circle S's. Because there's S lines in, in everything that you do, right? Like, if you look at any kind of art, you'll see an S. Just look for the S's. Those are called S lines, right? And the more that you practice those, the more smooth everything's going to be. And you know what I mean? Turn out. But, uh, yeah, I'll shut up now. And uh, right on. <laughs>
Okay, you can see coming up here, I'm using the wind flex shaft. So on the rotary tool, the bird came out, was almost about to pull out, so I had to open it up and cut the bird back in. That's the thing about the wind flex shaft, people. If you're gonna carve full throttle, the burr will slide out. You should scuff it up or something like that before you use it. Then maybe the the holster, uh, what's it called, the collet will grab it better. But whatever, that's a tip. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know if it looks cracked, but whatever. Add some character. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to sand everything down now. Uh, hand sand it so it's, it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to burn it. I'm going to take it outside and burn it. And then I'm going to sand it again. And then I'll put the, um, the Midwax poly shade on it. Hey, Blake. Come and get your axe. It's done. I put about an hour and a half into this piece. Um, man, I freaking love these double-headed axes. I could have spent a bit more time on this Ladner, the writing, but I don't know. I kind of get into a rush. But whatever, you can see what it says anyways. The bloody battle axe! So Blake, sorry about the loss and uh, my condolences to you and your family about uh, your grandma. I'm sure your grandpa swung this axe one day. And uh, you can put it on your wall and add it down to your family. To your little kid can hang it on the wall when they get older, when your time's up. And it will stay in your family forever. You know what I mean? That's what, that's why I, uh, that's what it's about for me. Is giving back you know death's not an easy thing for sure um, I've had a few friends one of my best friends for like 30 years was uh, he passed away this year or last year it's just been a year anniversary I'm still not over it, it still hit me pretty hard and uh, another great friend um, huge supporter of my art passed away a couple years ago and I'm still not over that too so it's not an easy thing death people but it's there and it comes around. So let's just put this axe with the other ones. You're going to get the old the old guys going, Jesus Christ, he degraded the axes. Hey, whatever to all you haters, okay? Whatever. They're old shitty axes. I made something cool, in my opinion, out of something old and shitty. This one's got lots of cracks. <laughs> but Blake, come and get your goddamn axe, you little shitter. I'm going to sell it. Jesus. It's raining in Vancouver. Hey, guys. It's raining. <laughs>